sexual assault. 41 year old James Storm has been referred to the Outagamie County District Attorney. Four incidents occurred at Storm's business, Body, Mind, and Spirit, on South Law Street in Appleton. Wisconsin health officials say whooping cough is quickly taking over the state. A new report shows the disease, technically known as pertussis, can be found more in Wisconsin than any other state. NBC 26's Raquel Lamel is live at 6 with more. Raquel? Now, Casey, over 5,000 confirmed and probable cases of whooping cough have been found in Wisconsin this year. That's the highest rate in the nation and a serious concern for local parents. Oh, see how big you are? Charles Pierlat, sledding today with his three young children, knows all too well the dangers of whooping cough. Well, the first time I realized I had whooping cough was I was sound asleep and I woke up and I couldn't breathe. Whooping cough causes a person to cough so violently that when they take a breath, they let out a loud whoop. <coughs> uh, it's pretty scary, actually, the first time you whoop because you have no idea what's going on. Pertussis is no stranger to Northeast Wisconsin. It's something Appleton Public Health Officer Kurt Egebrecht is very familiar with. But this year is so much more dramatic. This is a very unusual year for us. Appleton is seeing its worst outbreak in almost 50 years. What we have found is that most of the people who have become ill are fully immunized, and yet they still can become ill. According to the Centers for Disease Control, Wisconsin's rate of whooping cough is eight times higher than the national average. <laughs> Egebrecht says infants and young children are the ones parents need to watch out for. A thought that scares Pierlat, who has three young children. The thought of them having it would just scare the heck out of me. Now, some of the early signs of whooping cough include a runny nose, a low grade fever, mild or occasional coughing, and shortness of breath. If these symptoms last more than a week, it's recommended that you see a doctor. Raquel Amel, NBC 26. All right, thank you.